Do you know what a literature review article is? Since one of the course objectives is for you to develop skills in expressing yourself in writing, I think it might be helpful to start off by talking about what a literature review article is and what is its purpose. Why should you care about having to write a literature review article? Let's look at how they are used by professionals. Healthcare providers routinely want to update their knowledge about a specific issue, such as pain management for breast cancer patients, or how to best help college students prevent sleep deprivation. Unfortunately, they may not have time to research the primary literature, so they read a literature review article that summarizes and evaluates the latest research in a particular area. For example, the Cochrane Review provides information about healthcare and healthcare policy with an emphasis on evidence-based practice, or best practice, for a variety of topics, such as disease management, drug choice, and medical procedures. Scientists use literature review articles much in the same way. Sometimes they are interested in starting research in a new area, but don't know what has previously been done. Or maybe they want to identify what important questions still remain, or perhaps highlight recent accomplishments in their area of research. These are two reasons scientists write review articles. Finally, primary research articles and grant proposals contain many literature review sections with the purpose of setting the stage or putting the scientists' work into context. What is the function of a literature review article? As previously mentioned, literature reviews summarize the literature concerning a specific topic. Depending on the type of article, it can be short, similar to the one that you will write for this class, or longer, more like a book chapter. But literature review articles go beyond merely summarizing the studies in a particular area of research, and that is why they are useful resources to the scientific community. They also evaluate the literature. They show relationships among different studies, which is important if scientists want to draw general conclusions from a variety of different studies performed by different groups of scientists. Perhaps differences in methodologies lead to different results or research using different animal models contains similarities, suggesting a general principle at work. For example, research on lifespan in nematodes, fruit fly, and mice. Another key element of a good literature review article is that it synthesizes the literature. That is, it makes conclusions based on many studies. Often they will propose new models or hypotheses to explain a particular phenomenon. Finally, literature review articles serve as a guide to the published literature. They typically cite important work done and are a great way to access relevant primary literature related to your topic. As guides to the literature, review articles should be accurate and complete. Citations need to be correct and complete. Can you imagine the reader's frustration if they can't find a source that is mentioned in a literature review article? It also raises questions of credibility. Was this author sloppy with other parts of the review? Can the author be trusted? Authors need to be properly cited, again, for the same reasons of credibility. Besides, you do not want to annoy an author because you didn't correctly attribute their work to them. For the purpose of your assignment, you are only required to have six primary literature articles as your source for the review article. It is key, then, that you try to include important primary literature articles and not just the first six that you find. Let's briefly look at some different types of literature to help put the literature review article in perspective. Journal articles are most up-to-date, although a newly published article contains information that can be about two years old. It does take time to conduct research and write up the results. Journals often include a variety of different types of articles, including primary literature, also called peer-reviewed articles. These articles have been rig rigorously examined by other scientists working in the same research area. You will find a more in-depth description of the literature in the primary literature module. Literature review articles often appear alongside primary literature articles. In some instances, they serve as a preview to the primary literature article just like the sample review article assigned for homework. More on that later. In addition to journal articles, you may find conference proceedings, which contain the latest research that hasn't been published, and in many cases has not been rigorously peer-reviewed. 
Government and corporate reports contain good information for commissioned research. Theses and dissertations may have a more limited use and may be difficult to obtain. Remember, these are works that are completed by graduate students. Books are less up to date than journals, but can sometimes be a good starting point. And finally, many of these types of sources can be found on the internet, so it is important that you can distinguish among them. Again, the primary literature module will help you with this.